Hi and welcome to WEH videos. My name is Skip and this is part three on my series on how to enter a flight plan in the FMC that comes with X-Plane. And we've gone over how to enter the flight plans and get the altitudes and everything. But I had a question on, well, how do you do the approach? Uh, how do you get to the runway? And the person asked this question was referring to in the Garmin 530, you can click and select from different approaches to the airport. And while you can do that in the Garmin 530, I do not believe that function is available in the FMC. So I'm going to show you how you can add an approach to your flight plan. So I have gone ahead and created a little flight plan from Los Angeles down here and we're going to head up north to San Francisco. So I decided I want to fly the Victor 27 airway that comes up the coast. We're going to cross over some land but basically we're going to stay along the ocean. And I have stopped my flight plan right here at the B-L-A-N-K, the blank fix. And now I want to determine how do I get to the airport from here. And I know there are specific routes that I can take. So how can I find a way to get to the airport? All right, so I'm working my way up the coast to San Francisco. And right here is the last waypoint that I have programmed so far. But now I want to get up here to San Francisco. And what's the best route to take? And to determine that, we are going to go to airnav.com and look at different approaches. We have SIDS and STARS, and we're going to go over those things a little bit, and an approach plate. So here we are at airnav.com. We click on airports and then we type in the code for the airport and since we're flying into San Francisco we want KSFO and we hit enter and it takes us to the San Francisco International Airport page and there's tons of information here but we're gonna scroll way down to the bottom and here you will find stars standard terminal arrivals and you can see there's several and you pick the one that you want depending on the way you are coming in to the airport so if we were coming in from the north we'd pick a star that would line us up with the runways that we need to get to and in our case we're going to come into 28 right so you look through these and you find the star you want and since we're coming up from Los Angeles the one that works best for us is the Big Sur 2 star. So we click on that and we download that page and then we go back and we look for runway 28 right. We look for the approach plate, instrument approach procedures. And we're going to be landing at runway 28 right and so we'll just take this ILS or LOC runway 28 right and we'll download that. So now we have the things we need to make up an approach into San Francisco and to runway 28 right. All right, so now we are going to work our way backwards in our flight plan. So we're going to start with the approach plate for runway 28 right at San Francisco. Here's the airport and this is the course we are going to be flying, which it says here we are going to fly on a heading of 283 down to the runway. Now we have some fixes along the way. We have the Dumba intersection, which is the initial approach fix. We also have Seepin, and down here we have Axe Mule. So these are fixes that we want to put into our flight plan. Now this is a top-down view of our approach into San Francisco. Down here we have a vertical view and as you can see here at Dumba intersection 
we need to be at 4,100 feet. Now these are minimum altitudes. We cannot go below this, but we can be a little bit above this. Then at Sepin, the altitude is 3,200 feet, and at Axmule, we should be down to 1,800 feet. So these are the waypoints that we want to enter into our flight plan, and these will be the last waypoints. So now let's take a look at the approach, the star. The star is just a road map that gets you to the airport, a standard way to get there. And if you were coming in from a different direction, we're coming up from the south, but if we were coming from the east, we might use the RISD-4 arrival. But we're coming up from the south, so as we go through these different stars, we end up selecting the Big Sur 4 star because it fits our flight plan perfectly. The Big Sur VOR is the very first waypoint in the Big Sur 2 arrival. And so now we just have these fixes all the way up to, wouldn't you know it, runway 2A right. And remember now we have the altitudes. We should be at 10,000 feet or just a little bit above when we get to Big Sur and we're just going to step down to 9,000 to 7,000 to 6,000 and when we get to the Menlo fix we should be right around 6,000 feet and now we're ready to pick up the final approach and this is where the the Big Sur 2 arrival meets with the 28 right approach plate so let's see how that works. All right so now we're back to the approach plate and here's the route we have been flying on our approach our star and we're getting to our last waypoint or fix which is Menlo and notice that Menlo is an IAF an initial appoint, approach fix for runway 28 right and if we continue on this heading of 331 we will come to the seep and fix where we will make a left turn on our final approach down to Axmule and then to land. And so those are the waypoints that we are going to enter and this is how you can get down to the runway adding an approach to your flight plan. So here's the flight plan we ended up with. We started out at Los Angeles and we entered in our fixes and our vores and we got up to blank and from blank we entered our first waypoint in our approach our star and we worked our way up to the first waypoint in the approach plate and finally to Axmule and down to the runway so we have entered these into our flight simulators FMC and now we're ready to fly. But before we end, uh, there's a couple of things I want to discuss about skyvector.com and selecting altitudes. So let's go back to skyvector.com. Okay, some things you need to know about skyvector is not all of the fixes are visible. Sometimes you need to enter in the fix you want to find. And up here in the upper left hand corner you'll see a little box with a go button. I had to do this to find the fixes in the star. So Angie, A-N-J-E-E, -E, that's the fix I'm looking for. I'd hit the go button and notice the map shifted. And it's hard to see, I know, but right here in the middle, and this will always be in the middle of the screen, is a little cross. Now, the fix is not visible, but if I right-click, you can see it says Angie, and I can add that to the plan. And I had to do this for every fix in the approach. So we go to Skunk. That's our next fix. Again, here's the little cursor. I don't see the fix anywhere. I right click, there is skunk. I add that to the plan. I had to do the same thing for Menlo, which is right here. For Seepin, 
which is right here. And finally, or axe mule, right there. So that was a little disconcerting because I was looking all over for these in the beginning, but uh, finally figured it out. So now we have our complete flight plan all the way down to Los Angeles. Now, the other thing I want to discuss is altitudes. So we've got our flight plan in, we've set our waypoints, we've got our approach, but maybe you're struggling with at what altitude do I fly? We can go here to the world VFR view and let's just zoom in. This is kind of like a sectional chart for the world. And I did a video on sectional charts, so you can take a look at that and see how to do, how to read these. But let's just take a look at some numbers here to help you figure out what altitudes to fly. These numbers here, 676744, these are minimum altitudes. These actually tell you the altitude of the highest obstacle that you have to fly over, 6,700 feet. 6,700 feet, 5,200 feet, and so on. So, so as you are coming along your flight plan, look for the altitudes, and this will show you uh, the highest obstacle you must fly over. And you need to have a minimum of 300 feet to this, but of course you want to fly maybe 1,000 feet above ground level at all times. And so just pick an altitude above this just to make sure you're safe. 3,200 feet. And so to pick an altitude for our flight up to San Francisco here, we can see that we don't have anything above 5,000 feet here that we are going to have to worry about. 5,200. So we're going to pick an altitude that's a lot higher than this. And since we need to be at 10,000 feet when we get to the Big Sur VOR, we might as well pick an altitude above that. So let's say maybe 10,000 feet. I don't know. How can we do this? Well, guess what? Let's say we want to fly right around 10,000 feet. There are rules that will help us determine exactly what altitudes we should be flying at. Let's take a look at this. Here's a little formula. Actually, these are some rules that help you determine what altitude to fly at. So if we are flying on a heading of 000 to 179, we need to fly at odd thousands plus 500. So if you're above 3,000 feet for these rules to take effect, we need to fly at odd thousands plus 500. So that would be 3,500, 5,500, and 7,500. Now if we are flying on headings 180 to 359, then we fly at even thousands plus 500. So that would be 4,500, 6,500, 8,500, etc. So these are rules that we need to follow when we are flying. So we want to keep this in mind when we are setting the altitudes we want to fly. So that should help us determine flight altitude. And I just think 12,500, that sounds like a pretty darn good altitude to fly up here since our headings are less than 360 and more than 179. All the way up, we are going to go at even thousands plus 500. So 12,500 would be a great altitude. And then as we get close to the Big Sur VOR, we can start our descent down to just above 10,000 feet. Then we want to follow the altitudes that go along with the star and of course the final approach fix coming into the runway. So that's it. I hope you got something out of this and you learned a little bit about programming a flight plan with approach into the FMC and X plane. If you liked this please click the like button if you would like to send me a message or leave a comment, that would be great. Thank you so much for watching, and God bless.